everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Primark haul for you. Um, I'm going to just run through some bits that I picked up. There's some clothing, some accessories, um, yeah, some bits and bobs. Um, I also get a lot of my fitness stuff from there, but like the what I wear to the gym. But I'm going to do a whole separate video on high street fitness outfits. So um, if you are interested in that, then that will be up in a couple of weeks time. So let's just get in with the haul. So the first thing that I want to show you are these jeans. Let's do them up. So these are high waisted, just normal, normal regular blue jeans. Um, they only really come in one length, so I'm quite short, so I just kind of pull them up. And these were, um, I want to say they were ten pounds. Yeah, ten pounds. So these are just skinny jeans. And they're really comfortable, they're really flattering. I wear a lot of high-waisted trousers. Um, and my, are they called the Joni ones? Or Jamie? One of them from, well, ones that I had from Topshop, they ripped um, recently. So I've just been, I just wanted to get some cheap jeans while I, I don't know, before I get round to going to Topshop and picking up a replacement for those. Um, and these are really good, they're really sturdy. Um, like they've got a good, they're like when you wear them for, you wear them all day, they kind of like lose their stretch a little bit, or like the elastic goes in them, whereas the, these are actually quite good, and for a tenner, they're really um, a good bargain, because as I said, the top shirt ones are like 40 quid, um, and I actually, I don't have them with me, because they're in the wash, but I have a black pair, which isn't the same material, it's more like, a, it's more elasticated, um, and they were eight pounds, and I've got them in black, um, because I've just put rips in the knees, because where I, as I say, I'm petite, and so it's a lot harder to find jeans with rips in the right places, normally they're up my leg or down my leg or wherever they are, they're just not in the right place, so I've just bought cheap, eight, as I say, eight pound black version of these from Primark and just put the slashes in myself, and they're perfectly fine, they're just fright they're fraying a little bit, but that's kind of how I want them, so yeah, good bargain there, and then I picked up this top, which is five pounds, and it's just this, I don't know if you can see, it's like a scalloped edge here and it's got like this little cut out floral and it's just like this little vest top it's got a bit of black at the front I don't know I don't know if you can see that so it's going to go in the wash before I wear it but I just wanted to show you it and that scallops at the bottom as well with the little print and yeah that was five pounds I thought that was quite good I think they have been a couple of different colors like black and red um but yeah nice um and then I got some tights. These are the packets actually at my boyfriend's, but these are just the forty um, denier they're called, and it's three for a pack of three for three pounds. So, and these are really good. They, um, I find that a lot of tights ladder on me, or they're just kind of too thin. They're really good. They're quite for three pounds. They're actually quite good quality. And if you do rip them, you just go and buy another another set for three pounds. It's not doesn't break the bank. Um, and then I also got some little knickers, little pants. Um, these were a pack of four for four pounds fifty. Oh, I didn't know. Anyway, um, and I actually haven't bought knickers from Primark, especially in the packets, for a long time. And I think they used to only do like white, black, and nude in them. Now they've got like really nice prints and colours. Like these are. I don't really want to get them out and show you, but um, they're like lacy and actually I haven't worn these, so I can show you. But yeah, you see like they've got a nice little bow in this little lacy mink colour. And I don't know, they just really, they surprised me because I didn't, I just wanted some cheap knickers that I could wear and they were there. So, you know. Um, and then I also have these little sock thingies. They come like this. They're called shoe liners. Um, and you get five for £2.50. And these I'm going to actually show in the fitness thing because I use them. Uh, for when I go to the gym, but I also, I'm going to go get another packet because they're actually really good for um, wearing with ankle boots because as you see it says antibacterial finish, but they're, they basically, they just let your feet breathe a bit more than socks, so they're quite, I don't know if you can see, but you can see my fingers through that, they're a bit thinner, um, so I think they'll be, they're really nice to wear with, as I say, like ankle boots because they're not, I don't know. They don't make your feet that's they don't make your feet sweaty, which is I don't know. Okay, let's just not talk about this anymore. But yeah, 
they're really good and they say 250 though. I also picked up this makeup bag which is so cute it says meet me in Paris I am actually going to Paris or actually no when this goes up I would have come back from Paris so I thought this was really cute and it's a good size it's three pounds so yeah if I put that you see it's, it's not like they're larger ones it's kind of just like a medium size one um and yeah I just thought it was really cute and really a uh, good timing for me to find that the day or a couple of days before I went to before I go to France so yep um I also picked up Oh, I also picked up um, a bigger makeup case, which is kind of quilted like this, black quilted. It's got a bow on it. Five pounds, I think it was. Have I made that up? Yeah, five pounds. Um, and it's actually going to be in the photo for this video. It's the black bag that the black makeup bag that's in that photo. I don't have it here because I bought it to leave at my boyfriend's. Good size one, and they've got loads of different prints, and some are quilted, some are plain, and yeah they're just really i think their makeup bags are actually really good and really good quality um and then keeping on the quilted theme this is a sunglasses case this is 150 and again it's got this quilted material and this gold bow and it just sort of you push it like that and it opens and now that it's starting to get a bit sunnier in england i'm really going to look forward to put, popping my sunglasses in and uh putting them in my handbag so and then the last thing that I've got, I picked up two, um, and I did bring the packaging home to show you that I bought two, but I can't find it. And this is just the Primark's version of the Beauty Blender. Um, it's the egg makeup sponge, and these are £1.50 each. I'm going to open this for you. So it just looks like this. What you do is um, you dampen it under a tap sort of squeeze out the excess water and then you can you press like your makeup and blend out your foundation or creams or whatever you want to do with it um it doesn't expand like the real beauty blender i haven't used the real Be beauty blender but uh, i don't think it's an amazing tube because well i hope it's not an amazing tube. you know when you get the triangle sponges it's just like that in an egg form and that's not what i think the beauty blender is about so i think I think it's okay. I'm glad that I, I've got it to try it out and it does blend. Um, I really like it to use under my eyes with under eye concealer. I think that it actually blends that out really nicely with just this pointed bit at the top I use. Um, so I'm if I don't like it for foundation, if I don't get along with it, then I'll use it for that because I'm really enjoying the effect that it gives for under eye concealer. So yeah, but there will be a full review on this. Um, when how I get on, as I say, I've only used it a couple of times. That's my haul. So it was very short, very sweet, but I did pick up some good bargains in from different areas as well. Probably gonna pop in there in a couple of weeks' time, so I'll see if there's any more summery stuff. Because I didn't want to get, I say it was before it started to get warm, so I didn't want to buy into loads of summery stuff, but I'm definitely gonna go and refresh my wardrobe in there. I'm going to have a fitness workout clothing a video coming up soon so look out for that if you're interested remember to like the video and any comments just please leave down below and i will speak to you soon bye